My name is Lauren. I am 42 years old, and I reside in Jupiter, Florida. And I have um, NF, which is neurofibromatosis type 1. I have several hundred of various sizes. They are on my feet, my chest, my back, and on my face. The worst one I have is the one behind my ear. That is the biggest one. The one that I do not like the most is probably the one on my chin. It makes me feel unattractive, which is the first thing people see when they meet me. The one behind me I was told do not touch because it could go bigger, which could cause nerve damage. I am scared to see another doctor because of the possible side effects, and that does weigh on my mind a lot. I guess I can be described as outgoing, but at the same time, I do feel like I'm hiding out on my apartment because of um, my parents. If I do go out, people always stare and um, wonder what's going on. This makes me feel insecure because they're judging me on um, my condition and not me as a person. But I also had my tongues been back together after a car accident. And um, people notice when they speak to me, they make comments on it. I think that's why I'm having a hard time maintaining um, a dating life. Let's try and find a new dating website. I usually start a dating profile, but after a while I get discouraged, so I delete it. Try again a few months later and the cycle. Okay, first name is entered. My gender and maximum age. What I really love is to find someone to um, have a meaningful relationship with, to marry, and hopefully have um, a family with. Having this condition is taken away from that. I believe the most hurtful thing somebody has said to me was, um, you'd be a lot more attractive if you didn't have that on your face. That one hurt me hard because um, I knew they were right. Tell us about yourself. I am outgoing and loyal to a fault. I know people judge me and um, it does make me insecure because they're going by um, how I look. Terrible. But I do wish I could have somebody there with me. Have it come into an empty apartment every day. It's not always fun. Hey, Shelby, how are you? Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. I like your hair. Thank you. Chris and Shelby are like my sisters. I can go to them with a problem that I'm having. They'll listen, and they'll help me through it. How's dating? How's everything been? Life's been okay. Dating, not so much. You know, it's been hard to find, you know, somebody. Like, what, are you trying to go out and meet people, or is I mean, it bothering you? I'm too self-conscious about how I look to go out and meet people. The first thing people see are these things on my face. People like that are not what, anybody that you want in your life. Do you feel like people stare? I do. It makes my heart hurt for you. Because if people saw what we saw, it would probably be a lot easier for you. I agree, but that's the problem. Five seconds of talking to you, you see what an amazing human being you are. Lauren is a sweet, innocent, wholehearted human being masked behind a face that he can't control. It makes me so sad that he is judged on his looks. If I could have him taken off, I would. Yeah. Safely. You know, you we know. support you in any decision you make. What's the, what's the bigger fear, like? Versus being hurt and sad, we don't support that. <laughs> the biggest fear is dying alone. Lauren. <laughs> well, you're not gonna die alone. You really aren't. Because your perfect person is out there, and you just haven't met her yet. By this point, the fear of um, being alone, I guess, outweighs the, um, the fear of having them taken off. Having these taken off, hopefully I can finally find you know someone who can, love, who can love me and appreciate me for the person that I am. I am more than just the bumps. I am more than just the tumors. I am more than an F1. I'm Lorna. Well, hello. Hello. How are you? Doing good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm Sandra. Nice Dr. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have a seat in my little outdoor office. Okay. 
What can I do for you today? What's going on? I have an NF type 1. OK. And I'm hoping to have some of the um, tumors taken off. OK. So NF1, that's neurofibromatosis type 1. Yes, ma'am. And you tend to get bumps. It looks like you have one right here. Yes, that might be something that you don't really love. And maybe something yeah. right here. OK. Yes, so how does this affect your life? I don't like how they look. And um, I'm self-conscious about them. I do find it hard to um, find you know, a date because people cannot give me the time of day for how I look. I get it. Neurofibromatosis 1 is a inherited dominant condition uh, in which you grow a lot of bumps on your body, which are composed of nerve tissue. Lauren probably has bumps like this over most of his body. But I bet the ones that bother him the most are the ones on his face. Do you ever see anybody about having it removed before? Um, no, ma'am. I've been um, too afraid of the side effects, you know, of um, spreading the nerve damage. Right, right. Neurofibromas can be complicated to remove. Some of them are quite large. There are different kinds of neurofibromas. And so sometimes they can weave around important vessels or important nerves in the body. I certainly don't want to remove something for cosmetic reasons, but then cause a whole host of other problems. So I'm going to take a look at them, if you don't mind. I'm Not going to actually all. touch them while, we're, while okay. we're talking here. Oh, yeah, you get a little, oh, he's soft, too. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think that's pretty darn cute. The cute one on his chin looks like a little baby's bottom. It's cute. And this one here might be like a plexiform neurofibroma. Is that uh, what people have said? I believe it is, yes, ma'am. This one is a plexiform neurofibroma, and they're a little unpredictable. They could wind away under the skin much more deeper. So I'm going to try to get it off, but I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to get this whole thing off because it might dive down deep. So those two bug you is what I'm assuming, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, I'll see you really soon. Hearing Dr. Lee tell me that she can in fact remove the neurofibromas off my face makes me extremely happy. But I've never had work done on my face before, so I, I am uneasy about um, what's going to happen. So I'm just going to wiggle you here and just a little baby pinch. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. You're still breathing on me, right? Because yeah. there's a lot more paperwork I gotta fill <laughs> up. You know what I love about you? You laugh at all my jokes. I'm a good personality. Look at you, you know it too. <laughs> I do know it. <laughs> Are there cute girls in Jupiter? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. What's your type? I don't have a type. You don't? No. no. Breathing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, breathing. Alive. <laughs> Alive, yes. So, is there any girl you're kind of interested in? Not at the moment. I'm trying to set him up. Like, if we've got any popaholics, we've got to go through our, our popaholic menu. Go Those for people, it. people, yes. I enjoyed Dr. Lee very much. She made me feel at home, and it was like talking to um, one of my friends. Any um, side effects, you think? Or a a bit of us removing this? Yeah, or possible side effects. Um, I won't go back or anything. There's a chance if there's some deeper component to it, there's probably going to still be a little bit of it left. OK. That there's like a deeper component sometimes. But I'm trying to keep this pretty superficial here. OK. I'm here with lovable Lauren, and he's got these neurofibromas on his face that I know that he hates. This one here on his neck is a plexiform neurofibroma, and it's like it's almost like an iceberg on the surface. And what could be going on underneath, I'm not quite so sure. And Lauren is really smart to ask me about this. There's still neurofibroma tissue here. I can see it. And I'm sure, like, if we sliced into you like a loaf of bread, there'd be quite a lot more than average neurofibroma tissue yeah. in you. So. You know, you could also be just going into another one, you know? I trust your judgment. Well, you're going to be able to see the results in just a bit here, so. OK. OK, that's one down. Lauren's concerned about side effects, but he doesn't have to worry, because I think we removed it enough to really make it nice and flat in the area. And it didn't look like I encountered any big, important vessels. Now I'm going to remove the other one, the cute one. You're doing great. But everything looks good. You doing OK? OK, good. Good, good, good. You're doing awesome. That was very painless. Thank you. Oh, that's good.
A little buzzing sound you're gonna hear. Nothing should hurt, okay? It just stops little baby blood vessels if they're oozing. Sorry, it smells like bacon or something. Getting hungry, actually. What? Yeah. Are you about to ask us out to dinner? Okay. Uh <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty sharp. He made us feel like we're asking him out to dinner. <laughs> I was able to remove Lauren's super cute little chin baby bottom, and I think he's gonna look fabulous. I can't wait to see the results. All right, you ready to take a look? Yes, I am. And hold your hair up there. Oh my God. Ooh, easy right here on the bottom. They're both gone. Yeah, so this is swollen, that's all, okay? Just swollen, a little line there that will take out the sutures, and you just have a fine line there. Okay. I am so happy right now, I mean, Seeing myself in the mirror for the first time is taking all my control not to start crying. Wow. <laughs> I am the happiest I've been in a long time. Here's your little friend. I'm gonna give you a moment alone with it. <laughs> this is gonna get you dates for sure. Having a picture of this. Okay, and then here's your plexiform. Look how wobbly that one is. Oh my God. Cold, huh? Holding these bumps in my hands, it's exhilarating. It was so nice to meet you. Yes, I it feel was. so bad that thank it's only you. for a short moment here. Have a good one, okay? Me too, thank you. Thank you. Since I saw Dr. Lee about six weeks ago, my face is healed completely. There was no scrolling at all. People are seeing the real me family and not the guy with the bumps. I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm happy with how I look. Hi, all. Since my confidence has gotten a lot better, I am putting myself out there. Awesome. I will be updating my dating profile with some new photos so people can see the new me. I am very excited about this new chapter in my life. Dr. Lee promised to find me a date and she came through. Ladies first. Thank you. You're welcome. I am looking good and feeling good, and um, this is the best I've felt in my life. Cheers. Cheers. You look so beautiful. I can't get over it. Thank you, Lauren. I am so grateful for what Dr. Lee um, did for me, including finding me this um, date for tonight. She gave me, um, she gave me my life back. I love your dress. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe one day we can all go out together. This has been so much fun. It has been fun.